daily intake and output chart. As you can see, this is where we record exactly what the patient has had throughout the day. It's important when we start that obviously we apply the addresser graph there and we add on the 24 when we started the fluid balance and the date and to when we finished the fluid balance and that date. Instructions for 24 hour fluid collection. There we would add anything that the patient is having, whether it be IVI or whether they have a urinary catheter. That's to ensure that everybody is aware of what devices and input and output that we are considering. Carried forward. Here is where we carry or where we document any fluids that are on the previous fluid balance that might not have completed. Looking at the IV column, if I was to start normal saline, 1000, when that completes, I would take it down and arrow down to show that the whole of that bag had been infused. This is with, with enteral feeding, whether it be PEG, JEDGE or NG tube, this is where you document what you put down that tube. Oral intake. Whether it's a cup of tea or a glass of water, volumes can alter. If you're looking at fluid me measurements, you can see here that whatever the patient is drinking has its own value and these must be considered when documenting for oral intake. Urine. When we're measuring someone's urine, if a patient has passed urine in a bottle or in a, in a pan, when you go to the sluice, it's, there's clear indi indication of what that bottle weighs and you must deduct that from the weight that you've got and then document how much urine they've passed. When you get to 12 o'clock, it's important that we make sure that we document exactly what the patient has had in the last 12 hours. This can give an early indication if the patient's oral intake is low or if the urine output is low. Again, at 24 hours, whatever has been calculated at 12 will be added to the final volume. Total input is where we calculate everything that the patient has added in, whether it's IV fluids, enteral fluids or oral fluids, and we would document that here. Output, urine output, gastric output, we would doc document that here. And then we calculate the, whether it's a positive or a negative balance in mills.